Hey guys, what up? This is Ghastly Gengar here today to talk about two Pokemon. One is Magian and the other one is Zygarde in the forms that have been released to this date because I kind of skipped over it unknowingly. So let's get started off with Magier now. So Koro Koro Ichiban uh, showcased a different color scheme of Magierna, which is gold, red, and white. And when, like, if you paid attention to the clips that I've shown before, when Magierna is sent out in battle, she looks like a Pokeball that kind of like transforms into a Pokemon. Now, it's kind of weird because I don't know if Magierna is her own Pokeball or like she is a Pokeball inside of a Pokeball, but this just makes it weirder because. It's kind of like a Voltorb or Electrode-esque kind of like thing where it's like, sh like you can clearly see the Pokeball like design on the bottom of her like dress area, and it's just weird. Like maybe the like blue and pink thing on her chest will be like the little Pokeball button. I don't know. I really don't know. I uh, like know what to feel about this. But apparently, this is how Magian looked 500 years ago when she served a kingdom, when she looked quote-unquote fancy. Um, it's unclear if the aesthetic will be carried over to the games, and I really hope it does, maybe as a shiny, or like... I really hope they just don't glance over this and it's like an XD-001 thing like in Pokemon XR, Gale of Darkness, because... That color scheme was amazing, and I'm kind of sad that he didn't keep, like Lugia didn't keep that color scheme when he purified him. He could transform one of the games and stuff, or kind of like how the spiky eared Pichu was implemented in Heart Gold and Soul Silver, but you couldn't transform over just because he looked a little bit different. When I think it would have been easy just to make that like a different form of Pikachu in later games, so you can bring that up. But hopefully, you get some news on this form or color scheme soon. And yeah, all right. And the next one we'll be talking about Zygarde. Um, someone had to use a leaf floor. <laughs> so right now we have seen Zygarde core. We've known about him for a while. He's been in the anime, I think, for a good bit. But we had gameplay footage of Zygarde's ten percent form, which is Zygarde Dog, <laughs> as everyone likes to call him, and. It just looks like a normal battle up until he's at, I think, 10% health. And then he changes into his complete form. And his complete form looks amazing. I really... I don't even know, man. It's just great. Um, we all know Zygarde is a Dragon Ground type Pokemon. Um, uh, what information really is there? Zygarde's 10% form is that the Zygarde core takes on when it gathers 10% of the cells in nearby capable of traveling over 60 miles per hour, 100 kilometers an hour. Uh, if it defeats enemies with its sharp fangs and incredible... S oh, it can defeat its... Okay. Um, so I don't really... Like, we know the... Like, I, are we going to be getting the Zygarde core? Is Zygarde core is what hiding is what's hiding in that girl's bag? And then again, where are all the Zygarde cells coming from? Or... Do the areas that you travel to, like, show, or like, that, like decide which form you're going to be getting? I don't know, because it just shows Zygarde Cell, Core, Dimension Form, and Complete Form. We haven't really gotten news on where the 50% form fits into this, because as soon as Zygarde 10% form gets to his 10% health, he goes straight to Complete. So maybe if he goes into 50% of his health, he goes to 50% form? I don't know. Um... We first saw Zygarde's perfect form in the 2016, or in a trailer for the 2016 movie, which shown him as like some weird thing. Um, let's see. It was revealed in the Fallen Core Core to be an anime special Mega Evolution Act 4, which I have not seen. I have not seen any of the Mega Evolutions except for like one because I don't really get into the anime. Um, this is the perfect form Zygarde, which takes when it core gathers 100% of the cells. Which, when the ecosystem is under threat, the core concludes that 50% form will be unable to deal with it. Uh, the core also takes on the complete form. Its power is said to be greater than the legendary Pokemon Xerneas and Yavatel. So this, so is Zygarde a Alola Pokemon, or is he going to be still a 
Kalos Pokemon because I really don't see why we have this Pokemon now that's getting a new form in a different region. Like, I can understand Mewtwo because of the whole Pokemon Origins thing or whatever. That at least that was given an explanation. But this just makes you think, like, does that weird idol that was uh, this weird like souvenir that was in Pokemon X and Y and Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, like, does that have anything to do with this or like? Is that going to be completely different because there was a mention of four different guardian Pokemon for each island in Alola region? So, leave your comments down below, tell me what you think, and I hope to be giving you more frequent news, and until next time, bye bye